Hey guys, what's going on? We are at the Wisconsin State Fair Park, Wisconsin State Fair. Um, this is gonna be a day of eating. We're gonna check out all the fun fair foods that you can find here at the Wisconsin State Fair. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and build some chapters in so you guys can see what we uh, are getting ourselves into. But first, it's hot as hell here. I need to go find a beer. Let's go check it out. Been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up our love friends, fill up the car to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our lives. The night is in young, don't need anybody else. Face all day. Maybe if I get them a little bit more inebriated, they'll jump on the camera with me. But we're gonna have this beer, maybe another, I'll let you know, and then we're gonna go find some food. Alright, guys, so we're at the Wisconsin State Fair. We're gonna be trying out some food. One of the things about Wisconsin State Fair is that they always try new food items, and all the new food items get put into a category called the Sporkies. And there are uh, judges and, and people who actually vote on these Sporky Awards. And so what we've been trying to do is really kind of find the Sporky finalists to see new foods, what that kind of tastes like. It's so loud over there. I'm gonna turn this around so maybe you can hear me a little bit better. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check those out. Um, as we have an opportunity to do so, I'm gonna show you guys those uh, food items that we have. Uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Stay tuned and hopefully we'll find some good stuff. All right, guys, thanks. So at the Bud Pavilion, they had fiery Cheetos dressed chicken, whatever it's called. But hey, take a look at this. It's when it's red, it means it's hot. Red also means stop, and I shouldn't do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. All right, it's good, but it's not hot. Like. Maybe it's something that builds, but I'm not getting a lot of spice on it. I think this aioli sauce on here really kind of helps temper that a little bit. Chicken is very moist in here, which you would expect from a breaded uh, item. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, no, it's coming, it's building. There it is. Mm. Yeah, this is really good. Um, not a new concept. You know, breading stuff in uh, potato chips or whatever, but it's really good. Um, probably my favorite so far of the night. So, all right, let's 
we'll see what else we get into. Now we stopped at Tropics for their Surf and Turf slider. It's got pool pork, coleslaw, and coconut shrimp on top, which is what makes it at Surf and Turf. Now this particular sandwich was really, really good from a pulled pork sandwich perspective. The coleslaw and the pulled pork went really well together. Now I will tell you, I got the shrimp on the second bite and I'm just not necessarily sure I understand the concept of the surf and turf sandwich. Um, I know what surf and turf is, but I don't know if this really goes well together. I didn't really get much of that shrimp flavor in there, but as a pulled pork sandwich, this thing was awesome. Now every once in a while I do run into a situation where I find the atmosphere is going to be pretty loud and so I don't record anything thinking I'm going to do a voiceover. I really need to learn my lesson here and just go ahead and start talking right away because usually it's not as loud as I think. So we stopped and got the vegetable tempura, some ranch sauce. Um, took a look, it's got like onions and pickles and all sorts of weirdness. Broccoli, I think there's a pickle spear in here, I don't know. But you know what this is, uh, oh yeah. this is definitely a uh, safe fair food here. If it's fried, we're eating it. Mm. That's true, it's not on a stick, so but man, this, they did a great job here with, um, with the frying of everything. Mm. And I can yeah, smell that, was the a, that was a pickle spear. And we have like cauliflower. I, I and, can smell um, the animals. My wife, my, my wife, you can see her right here. She's commenting Making on a how, rare appearance. She's commenting on how we can smell the animals where we're sitting. Here. Shouldn't have popped the whole thing in my mouth, that was hot. But fried food in general is always a lot of fun. At the state fair, it's a must. Gotta come and try it out. Um, it's all fried, so basically what it is, but Dr. Vegetable, fried veggies, definitely give it a try. All right, on to the next thing. What do we got? All right, we got a Sporky's third place finisher. All right, let's see what they have here. Oh, it looks like it's a... Uh, Brandy old fashioned s'more on a stick. All right, we're gonna get into this. Hi. Hi. Do you have any more of the brandy old fashioned? Yes, we do. Nice. $6. Yes, please. Oh, look at that thing. I'm excited. Oh, whenever you're ready. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank Enjoy. you. All right. So, this is a third place Sporky's winner. This is a brandy old fashioned s'more on a stick. Now, if you don't know what a brandy old fashioned is, it's very Wisconsin. It's like an old fashioned, except for we muddle a bunch of uh, cherries in there. We either throw a sour or sweet soda, and we use brandy. So, let's see if this tastes anything like that. Mm. All right, so it's a s'more, so you definitely get that s'more flavor. I think what gives us a brandy old fashioned flavor is the cherry. It must be um, soaked in brandy or something like that, but otherwise it's really just um, a s'more. So um, pretty good. Third place though? Eh, I don't know. All right, is there another one we got to check out? Let's go find out. Well. Wisconsin State Fair wouldn't be complete without getting some cheese curds. 
So, uh, let's see what kind of cheese curds I'm gonna end up getting. All right, so like I said, gotta get cheese curds when you're here at the State Fair. Look at this, look at these. Oh yeah, they're so good. Um, you get marinara, you get ranch in here. Um, let's just take a, see if we're gonna do a full bite. That didn't work, but it's cherry cheese. Cherry cheese don't pull, people. All right, anyway, super good. There's a lot of these around here. Find the one that you like best. Am I eat it again? Of course I would. From Wisconsin. But there's no pool, so eh. try someplace else. Alright, let's go check it out. Stay fair. We got our cream puff. There's no way to get into this other than just to bite into it. Mm. Wisconsin Stay Fair cream puffs, legendary. I have no more cream in my puff, but I'm gonna finish this off. I think I got some more food to eat. I don't know. We'll go figure it out, but. Thanks for coming along. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, that does it for me here at State Fair. I always talk a big game like I'm gonna eat a lot and I don't. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. State Fair is a awesome experience. We come here every year at least once just to try the new foods and check out what's going on around here. Uh, if you're in Wisconsin during this time, make sure you come check it out. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Take care.